moment. It feels like it was yesterday when I first saw you at Whiskey Kitchen. A date that I expected to last a short time and instead lasted hours. That was the day I knew you were special. You were the exact person I need and I have no doubt the man upstairs knew what he was doing when he put you in my life. You motivate me to be a better man every day and for that I will be forever grateful. I've always heard you need to look for the perfect compliment for yourself and with you I've found just that. You push me to work hard and attack life each day while I show you how to relax and enjoy the little things. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished and continue to accomplish. I love when people ask me to describe you and the first thing I say is, she's a badass. <laughs> you've been my rock over the last three plus years, but more so than ever in the last few months. And there's no way I could ever make it through these tough times without you by my side. I'm so glad you knew my mom and shared a bond with her. She loved you so much. The day she met you, I got a text from her that said, you found your match, and boy was she right. I know we joked that she was always Team Will, but I think she was secretly always Team Cameron. Thank you for not only taking care of me every day, but for also taking care of my dad. I promise I'll continue to make you proud every day, and I promise I'll work on my timing with my chores. <laughs> a day with you is better than a day doing anything else. I can't wait to start this part of our journey together and see where life takes us. I have no doubt that together there is nothing we can't accomplish. I love you forever and always. Well. Dear Will, it's finally here. This is by far the best day of my life so far because I get to call you my husband and you're rid of your neurotic wedding planning late night sessions. A little over three years ago, I would have never believed a couple of drinks at Whiskey Kitchen, walked to late night dinner, and a turn down invitation to go to the point would have led us here. Since that day, I've grown to love you in ways I did not know were possible. I love your calming and steady presence, the passion and dedication you show people you care for, and how you meet life head on, ready to take on any challenge. I love you not only for who you are, but for the goodness you bring out in me and the person you inspire me to be. You make me a softer, gentler person. You make my shortcomings and failures feel less scary because of the way you love me. I found a freedom through loving you because even knowing me deeply, you choose to steadfastly love me right back every single day. Thank you for supporting my direction, for motivating and encouraging me to stretch, and for always trying to be the reason I have the smile on my face. Thank you for building me a home in your heart. I promise you always have a home in mine. I love you, Cameron. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God and in the presence of the Holy Spirit to bless the joining of Will and Cameron in Christian marriage. This covenant of marriage was a gift to us established by God who created us one for each other. This bond of marriage does more than unite Will and Cameron. This union will in fact unite their families. And in this time, we ask a special blessing upon their loved ones and the way in which they have poured into Will and Cameron. We thank God for their love and support in the past and certainly in years to come. Eternal and creating God, thank you for your presence. Bless this union and help Will and Cameron to seek you throughout their life. Pour out your Holy Spirit among them that they may always feel your company. Help them to not only speak their vows today, but also remember them as they grow together in marriage. Help them to mature in their faith, to dwell in a home of love, enjoy all of their days. We ask this in the holy and precious name of Jesus the Christ. Cameron, in the name of God, I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. And to share all that is to come. 
and to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all our life together. And in all our life together. Be loyal to you. Be loyal to you. With my whole being. With my whole being. Will, in the name of God. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. From this time onward. From this time onward. To join with you. To join with you. To share all that is to come. And to share all that is to come. To give and to receive. To give and to receive. To speak and to listen. To speak and to listen. To inspire and to respond. To inspire and to respond. And in all our life together. And in all our life together. Be loyal to you. Be loyal to you. With my whole being. With my whole being. Cameron, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Will, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. Son, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. You've probably been waiting to kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> back to when you were born when I got to carry you for vitals check and now you're getting married we were up in Raleigh one weekend and so about four o'clock on Sunday I'm exhausted from trying to keep up with them and Cameron says to Elizabeth and says, I want you to meet a guy that's really special today. Okay. So we go to this place and Will shows up. Yeah, and he was so impressive. And he looked me in the eye 
and he shook my hand with a firm handshake. And he was so polite. And he was just so put together. We were so impressed with him. You know, and I told Elizabeth going home, I really like this guy. This is so cool. We just, we love you so much. You know, I'm so thankful for a man of his caliber, his character, you know, just his background, the Patterson family. It's just so amazing. I just could not be happier. So with that, please find your glass, charge it if you need to, raise it up. Go ahead and stand with me if you will. So let's all together, as I propose a toast to Cameron and Will for a long, loving marriage together. Here, here. Ready? While we spent the first two years joking about my, quote, breaking you down and forcing you to talk about your feelings, we had no idea what life had in store for us. This last year has been one of incredible joy, but also heartbreaking and devastating loss. And while we've had to face life's challenges, even on the days life struggled, I've never had to face them alone. I promise I'll always be your biggest cheerleader, be down to share ice cream, shake laughter and humor in both the happy and stressful times, never keep score, even if I'm winning, listen and value your advice, ask for help when I need it, and above all else, be your best friend. You quickly became my favorite and you always will be. Thank you for building me a home in your heart. I promise you always have a home in mine. I love you, Kim.